presentations. Refine lighting. Okay, so we're going to do a few things here. We're going to adjust the sun position, and we're going to add some interior lights. Okay, so to do this, let's go to our 3D view front perspective, and that's going to be on a sheet, so I'll just double click on that. Okay, so let's just see what the settings are right now and render it and see what we think. So we click on the teapot right down there. And we can do a draft. Exterior, sun only. It's fine. Just render it. Okay, so here we are. We have a very, very low res rendering. And that's draft. It's just intended to be quick. It only took a couple minutes. And we can get a sort of a feel for the lighting. The main thing that I'm looking for here is the general direction of the sun, and we can change that. And what we can do is, if we want to save this, I don't think it's really necessary, we can just click on Show Model, and then I'm going to turn on shadows in this view, and you can see there where the shadows are coming from. And you can see there's the shadow there. Now there's a lot of shadow right on this corner, so we may want to adjust that, and we could go into the lighting, and then here's the button right here that we can pick on for the sun setting. Now you have different choices. You can either do a still solar study, which makes it quite accurate. It actually makes it, you know, where the building is, the longitude, latitude, the time of day, the date, all that. It's very accurate. But sometimes when you're doing a presentation rendering, you kind of want to just feature it and you want to put a little bit of art into it. So what we can do is not do a still, but we'll do just lighting. And we'll want to uncheck this ground plane. It's going to put a gray plane for shadows. We don't want that. The azimuth is where is the sun around the building? Now, we're talking as if the sun is moving here. We know it's the Earth here that's moving. But from our perspective, you can say, well, let's put that at like 220 degrees and then apply. And then you'll see what happened to the sun. So now the sun's shining more from that side. Okay, and you can kind of move it around and just see how that's working. You may want that. I'm going to just pull it back a little bit, so we'll go like 190, and then if you just click off of it and then click on Apply, you'll see it move over a little bit. That's pretty good. The altitude is just its angle in the sky, you know, the time of day almost, so how high is the sun in the sky at this time? So if I were to say 15 degrees, and I can just click in another box and then I hit Apply, see how that gets shorter? The shadow gets a little shorter there. So we might want to put that up a little higher, maybe 20. And then we click OK to that. And we've adjusted the sun. We can close this dialog box. What about interior lights? The interior lights are something that normally will take care of themselves. Now what we did is we just put in some placeholder lights here. And those are just kind of a graphic representation of a light. They don't actually shine light, but most lights in Revit do. So let's do that. Let's go to the Live Section view in 3D. And I'm just going to cut into the building. OK. So we can see that there's a bunch of lights there. And you can see they're not even really going up to the ceiling. They weren't perfect lights. The reason we put those in was because we didn't have a ceiling to attach the lights to. And you can do different techniques, like add in sort of a dummy ceiling and add them in. What I want to do is actually something specifically for rendering. And it's a technique where we can just put like a glowing orb of light inside of the spaces. And that gives the impression of it being lighted up, but without making too many decisions on the actual lighting. OK, so how do we do that? Well, first we load in the light. I'll go to Insert, Load Family. And we're going to be looking in the standard library under Lighting, Architectural internal we're going to be looking for something called a studio light okay click and open that studio light is just a ball of light that's it you can put it anywhere you want if i go to the architecture tab in the ribbon and then click on component then i can add the studio light now you can see what happens here is it's going to pick on a level that you're on so right now it's main floor and then it wants to just put it up by a certain height so if i just drop it there you can see that it's just kind of in the middle of the floor there. Now, if you want to be more accurate, we could go to the top. Now, this is tough because I can't really see where it's going. So just turn your visibility graphics to wireframe. So I can go in here. Now, if I just drop that in there, 
I'm going to drop one sort of there, and then maybe there, and then maybe one in here. Now those are lights. Those will shine. Those objects there are real lights. I could even put one outside the building if I wanted to. Okay, not visible in my view. I'm going to spin this around, go shaded, and there's some lights. Okay, I can just pull that off, and then I should have another light that's right there. Now, I could send that up a little higher, so I could say, you know, maybe put this in front of the sign, like, or behind the sign, or whatever, but we could say, let's go up, like, six feet from there. Okay, maybe we go 10 feet. And that's just 10 feet from where it was. Go 12 feet. Okay, and I'll go to the right. Maybe just put it up like that. Or maybe there. Whenever you use the view cube, I find that it really helps. Okay, so what we're going to do with this, those lights, you can click on them. Right now it's called 120V. I'm going to edit the type, and I'm just going to rename this one. And I'm going to call this one Light 1. So it's a studio light type Light 1. And we could... Of course, if we wanted to go Acme Light 1, we could do that. I don't worry about the voltage here. I don't really care at this moment. This is just to shine light. So I'm going to go into the photometrics. This is where everything really happens. Click on the initial intensity. So right now it's like a 100 watt bulb. Okay, well, what if we were to put it at like, oh, 500? I know you're not going to have a 500 watt bulb there, but the point here is that that's going to shine that much light and provide a little bit of glow to your view. Okay, so let's see what kind of effect that had. Okay, so if I go down to my 3D views, front perspective. Okay, you won't see it in this view. You won't see it until you render it. So let's click on the teapot. And what we're going to do is we're going to change the setting to medium. And then the lighting scheme, we're going to choose to exterior but artificial only. And then render that. Okay, so there it is done. And the medium doesn't really usually take too long. But you can see there that the studio lights, although there's just maybe one of them, if you bump up the intensity, it basically, it can really give a good effect to that. Okay, well we could save this to the project. Okay, and that can be just sort of a, an initial test. Now let's do one more thing here. We're just going to set the sun so the sun is on as well, but very, very lightly. And it's going to give it a little bit more of a glow, and we'll see some sky instead of it being the dead of night. Okay, so I'll click on Scheme, and then Exterior, Sun, and Artificial, and then click on this right here. Okay, what we're going to do is do a still shot, and we're actually going to take our location here in Vulcan, Alberta, and we're going to just put the time up to like maybe 8 p.m. Just want to have it just before the sun goes down. Take off the ground plane. OK. And then let's do another medium render of that. See what effect we can get from that. OK, so that's done. Now it's very, very dark, as you can see. Let's just click on Adjust Exposure. And let's make it a little bit brighter. And as we make it brighter you'll notice that there's a little bit more glow from the lights. Okay, you can also change the midtones, make it darker, make the colors more intense if you want. So that's a start. You can just click on that. So that's just starting with these lights. I think I might want to move that one. I find that one's a little intense. I might actually just move it over here or maybe even over into the entry part of it just to punch that part up or draw more attention over there. So I can close this. Don't need to save that rendering. And we'll just make that one last change. So I'll go to the Live section and just go to the top. Change this to Wireframe. And that's the light right there. So I could just move it right over here to the entrance. Okay, we've got another one. I might just tuck that one right over there. Okay, and then I've got another light here. I might just want to move it closer to the window as well. 
Okay, so that's good. Let's save that. We've played with our lighting and let's move on. Okay, application menu and close. And that concludes this lesson.